So you just watched my amazing video on the screen mod and now want to use the mod yourself? That's great because that's exactly what this video is about. Well, first you need to download my mod, the link is in the video description, and just hit the subscribe button and wait for the download to finish. And once the download is done like this, we are good to go, if we aren't the host. <laughs> So only the host can control the mod. Your friends just need to have the mod too, but that should download automatically whenever they try to join you. So we need to go to a Steam library, go to Scrap Mechanic, right click on it, go to Manage and click Browse Local Files. This opens a new window in File Explorer for us. From here we want to move two folders upwards to the Steam Apps folder. And in this folder we head to Workshop, Content, and then the ID for Scrap Mechanic 387990 and then we need the mod folder which is this ID or if you just downloaded the mod it's the most recent file. Just open the folder and now we have two important things here datapath.txt and the shortcut to my mod tool. For my mod to work correctly it needs to know where the scrap mechanic files are. And for this it needs the data path which should look like this for most people. If you don't know where your data path is we can just browse the local files of scrap mechanic again and then this is our data folder and in explorer you can simply click on the path and copy the entire thing and then just paste this into datapath.txt and don't forget to save the changes. Now we can launch the tool, which should open a console window like this. And if everything worked correctly, it just says decoding your screen, we can keep this running in the background and then the tool should work. If the program keeps crashing for some reason, then please report the bug to me. And if you don't trust my code, because you should generally be careful with executables, I've also made this GitHub. Link in the description, of course. Alright, now we can use the screen mod tool ourselves. However, we do need some screens for that. You can also build your own screens, but I'll get to this later. Um, it's easy if we just use some pre-built screens I've made. The link to this collection is also in the video description and also in the mod itself. And we can just download a bunch of screens from here. Alright, now we're ready to launch Scrap Mechanic. Now just join a creative world and make sure you enable the screen mod. So now we can go and spawn in one of the screens we downloaded like this. And to make the screen work, we're going to need the modded part, which is a piece of glow poop. We just need to put this piece of crap anywhere on the screen, it doesn't really matter where. Just make sure there's only one poop at a time, because you can only run one screen at a time. And there are two things you can do with the screen. We can use it, in which case it now streams the video from my main monitor, which in this case is also Scrap Mechanic, so it's now Scrap Mechanic and Scrap Mechanic and so on. Pretty cool, actually. But this is also why it's very cool if you have two monitors, because then you can just put something on your main monitor and have Scrap Mechanic on your second monitor. And if we want to stop the video because it's getting really laggy, we can just go back to our little piece of crap again and press F again, or whatever key you assigned it to, and it stops the video. Now the other thing we can do is take screenshots, which is the upgrade function. Little camera sound, hehehe. <laughs> and then you've got a screenshot of my backpack. But now I could also just save this creation and have a little photo album and scrap mechanic and stuff like this, so it's pretty cool. And if you want to build your own screens, there's only one thing you need to keep in mind. You need to make sure that all parts are facing in the same direction. So if I build a little piece like this, all the blocks are facing in this direction, I need to make sure they're both still facing in the same direction while I weld them. And for the material, you can use any part that is one by one by one, like a logic gate or even a sensor. And you need to make sure the screen is only one block thick. If I just add one block like this, the whole screen won't work anymore. Well, and here's proof that I can even use logic gates for the screen, which would be kind of stupid since there's this huge black thing in the middle. So yeah, I hope this is everything you need to know about the mod. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. And if I forgot anything, I'll just make a pinned comment and tell you, read the comments, please. And also subscribe to my check-in channel if you really want to, because it's a little messy here. Anyway, thanks for watching.